welcome back. It's been a month and I need a new hammer. Uh, I love my hammer, but it's like five pounds, seven ounces. Yeah. I need something almost half that. So I'm gonna make a cross beam hammer out of this six pound sledge hammer head, same as I did with that one. And uh, it's, it's cheating, I know. It's not a completely handmade hammer, but it'll do the job until I can buy one. So let's hope this turns out pretty good. Okay, let's get to her. Alrighty, so the idea is the cross pin's already there pretty much. What I'll do is I'll start forging this end. So it starts to do one of those mushrooms. Give or take. Right? This side, I'm gonna cut that out completely with the grinder. No need to draw that out. And then, that's gonna be your hammer, pretty much. Cross beam. Ta-da! Way thinner handle, but there you go. See, what I'm gonna try and accomplish here is, I'm gonna try and forge it all the way around like this but I want to try and focus more on the center so it starts to push the metal out I don't want to like this one this one's like super round well not that bad but still I want to try and go for something that's a little flatter than this side but not as flat as that side right so yeah let's give her a go So it's getting uh, pretty close to where I want it to be. I'm just going to do the last few finishing touches on this and then just slowly start rounding it and then uh, we'll see where it takes us. Here's the problem that I have right now. If you look here where they put that stamp in, Every time I forge on this side, it sinks in easier because the material is gone. As to the other side, it just does not want to shrink. So I'm gonna do one where he try push this down. So it ends up being even on both sides. And then, oh, there's gonna be lots of grinding on this thing because it's really thick and there's lots of material. Like I said, I wanna bring this down to Let's go three pounds, three and a half, maybe less. It's gonna take a lot of grinding to get that there, but it's gonna be worth it. Of 
Gorgeous. Okay, so fullers are in. And as I was doing the fullers, obviously it started squaring up. Which I don't mind at all. So next step will be probably let this cool down and take my grinder with a cutting disc and cut the cross bean in. And then take my big, what's that? I think it's my five, six inch grinder and start cleaning up the sides and trying to take some stock off this thing because, yeah, I already have one of them. And uh, yeah, that's super heavy. <laughs> I just want an all rounder, one that I can always use, my, my go to hammer pretty much. So if I cheat a little bit by doing it this way, and it ain't costing me a cent except the propane, then why not? So like I said, I'm gonna take all of this down and keep that pretty much. Whew, that's hot. Keep that part. Okay, let's do her. Okay, take this bad boy and uh, try and take that step off. Okay, there it is. It's been annealed, nice and soft. And I am gonna do the same Trinity sign on this one, like I did on my first one. And then I think I will make a third hammer too. And then stop with the infinity signs, or infinity signs, with the Trinity signs. So I think the third hammer will be a flatter or something, but this is what I drew on here, and this is what I'll carve out. So what I'll use is, is my um, Dremel Easy Lock cutting disc. So this is for metal, as you can see right here. Um, you do get the Dremel reinforced discs, they're nice too. But I bought a full kit, um, and it's cheaper to just buy an entire kit instead of just buying individual discs or cutters or whatever you need. So, top tip, buy a full kit. Okay, let's get into it. There it is, finished. Um, I just went around the edges with. Come on. This is a tungsten carbide uh, Dremel cutting tool. Um, I just went against all the lines pretty much, and uh, yeah. There it is. Quick, dirty. Um, I'm gonna do the other side still. I won't put that on camera, but that's how far I got. After this, it's uh, hardening and tempering and then stick a handle on it. Okay, so it's day two. We just got back from Costco. I am poor now. Anyway, um, I started cutting side two or carving side two with this tungsten carbide Dremel bit and Honestly, this is amazing. This thing's awesome. Um, I have not dulled it yet. And I did do this side. 
um, you know, chased all the lines and stuff. But I am busy now with side two, and <clears throat> this thing is awesome. So I would definitely recommend tungsten carbide cutting bit. Okay, um, don't use these other ones. They're meant for wood. No, it says meant for wood, so don't use it on steel. They uh, last about two seconds. This, on the other hand, is actually doing its job. Okay. It's nice and clean stuff. It's gonna look different after it's quenched, but I finished the handle. There's the handle. Um, yeah. There she is. Clean the end up a little bit on that end. So let's test her out. some oil on it and uh, yeah done <laughs> quick and dirty with a new hammer Whew. before I run out of battery power I hope you guys like that uh, help me out I'm trying to get to a thousand subs um, subscribing costs no money obviously so um, help me out hit subscribe like um, hope you guys like the new hammer I love it and I'll uh, Catch you on the next one. See you guys.